Cynthia. I, you know, I think this opens up a door. The Farm Land Bank might be a great place to have a discussion with them about grants like mm -hmm. the Obama bucks were, only they do it in a localized way where they give people a part of a down payment um, as a way to help them jumpstart getting into the ownership process. So I think the Farm Land Bank would be very open and if you just prodded them a little bit to say, hey, are, would you guys be willing to offer grants to folk? Forgivable grants, right? Maybe they have to live in the house for three years, five years, whatever the case may be. It comes with some strings, but I could see that being a great opportunity for them to put their money where their mouth is and open up this play, open up this as now down payment grants that would come directly to you. And I think that's what they were doing with the city of Tifton was trying to create some of those grants mm -hmm. um, to put in place. And, and here's, here's, here's the thing, guys. Thank you, Cynthia. That's absolutely correct. And here's what you want to think about. Um, you can be a great influence on the rules for those grants. So you want to definitely take control, so to speak, don't uh, don't let them make up the rules because bureaucrats don't know how to make up good rules. Uh, and they they've never a lot of them. I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of them have never been business people. They don't understand how business works. They kind of do their thing and they do the best they can with what they have to work with, the knowledge and background that they have to work with. And they're just trying to do their job. That's all. So you are going to help them do their job. <laughs> and, and one of the important things there is that they don't put too many restrictions. You know, give a bureaucrat some money to spend and, oh my gosh, here they go, putting all kinds of rules and regulations on there so that they can employ a whole battery of people that have to process a whole lengthy application and a whole process that just really is a stumbling block and a barrier to actually having success with the program. So what we wanna do is influence that and really run alongside them as they're creating these rules and say, well, here's what we do. Here's what would make it easier for people to be able to tap into that money. Now, one suggestion I would make is matching funds. So in other words, that, that we still stay with the, the philosophy that we have of people have since having some skin in the game. Now, in our world, skin can be work for equity in addition to any cash that they have to work with. Well, when we, when we gear up these grants, which I definitely talk about it heavily in the house monster system, where city, county, state, federal, grants are available and it's your job just exactly like Xavier is doing it's your job to that you tap into that money you've got to find it it's there but it's not published it's not publicized so it's your job to discover that through these connections just exactly like Xavier and uh and Tracy are talking about tonight is to get you uh, get get the juices flowing in your mind. Now, there's no shortage of people that want our program, but there is a shortage of money. So in other words, lots of people come to us with very strong needs, very, very aligned with the need for housing, very much aligned with the want for getting their own home rather than being a renter for the rest of their lives. So this is something that can create that. Now, I want to add one more thing to this conversation, and that is that in these local municipalities all around, you want to think about the big employers. You want to think about the people that are making serious money within your community. And oh, yes, they are known. You know, you want to think about the bank presidents. You want to think about some of these upper level manufacturing companies, trucking companies that may be headquartered in your local municipality. Those folks typically, not always, have a foundation. 